Hello and welcome to the Canal Valley Hustlers podcast. Joe Justice here coming to you from the streets of Charleston. I'm going to be grabbing some people, asking them some business development questions, see what kind of wisdom we can glean from them. I'm really excited about it. Let's go. I am here with Daniel. Daniel, tell me a little bit about what you do. Yeah, Joe, my name is Daniel Moss. I'm a financial representative at Lutner Financial Group, um, particularly where I specialize is in business growth strategies and retirement income planning. All right, and what, what do you do to uh, you know facilitate those things? Tell me a little bit about, more about uh, Lutner and, and kind of your role there. Well, Lutner was a firm based out of Pittsburgh, founded in the 1960s. Um, it was founded by one man, Earl Lutner. And since then, it has grown to, I believe it is the third largest privately owned wealth management firm in the country. Um, we're in seven different states now, uh, all through the Midwest. And I believe we have about 320 advisors and about 70,000 clients. Great. That is great. All right. So I got a couple questions for you. Okay. I'm going to ask you here, in your experience, what marketing strategies are the most effective for growing and why? I would say it starts with community involvement. Um, it's about philanthropy and uh, it's about giving. Um, do your part to get involved in the community, do some outreach, and um, the people that you meet along the way is just a byproduct of that. Awesome. And tell me a little bit about how do you foster a positive and productive business culture in your business and in the community, and why do you feel like that's important? Um, that starts with personal philosophy. Um, it's a very deep question that sounds very surface. It starts with your why. You sit and you think about it. What is your why? Why do you do what you do? Um, it starts there, and that's where you find your passion, and that's why I think it's important. And tell me, what, how do you set and achieve long-term goals for yourself and for your company? So getting and achieving long-term goals, it actually starts with very minor ones, uh, daily tasks. It's uh, about making a checklist of short-term goals and doing everything that you need to do every single day to walk towards achieving those. Those will help you get to the big ones. So you think it's all about setting those daily tasks, breaking everything down into achievable everyday type things? Yes, yes. You want large goals. You want as big as you can think, but it's about setting micro goals on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, so that's going to be the question. What, how, how big should your goals be? What, how big should, should, they, should you think about attainability, do you think? Or do you think you should do sky's the limit, anything goes? think it's sky's the limit anything goes you should never put a limitation on yourself because you don't know what you're capable of until you get there awesome and tell me a little bit about your leadership philosophy and has it changed any throughout your career yeah it's changed quite a bit um, when I first started in my career I was more of like a I guess you could say a militant type teacher um, but now it's evolved to the point where I have sort of a uh, I guess you could call it a hire and fire approach I want you to hire me so that I can teach you how to be everything you can be. And hopefully you grow to a point where you become bigger than what I am. And at that point, you fire me and you're on your own and ready to go. That's, that's a great way of thinking about it. So um, I, I imagine you're going to want to have somebody that works for you or, or with you as somebody that you, you want to encourage them to grow and to develop, not to kind of keep them under your heel. Is that the idea? That's correct. I want everybody that is involved with me and surrounded and that is surrounding me to just, I want them to be everything they can be because, you know, that's how I would like people to view me. So um, that's the philosophy that I run with. Awesome. Tell me, finally, let's, as we're wrapping up here, what advice do you have for building and maintaining strong professional relationships within your industry? Well, again, that falls back to giving and community and doing everything that we can, doing what I view as our duty to uh, improve our surroundings. That improves everyone's quality of life. And uh, with that, developing actual legitimate connections with other people and not surface level professional ones. You know, learn about them, learn about their interests, their hobbies, what they're passionate about, find a common ground and go from there. Awesome. Daniel, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, you're welcome, Joe. And there you have it. Thank you so much for listening today. This is Joe Justice, the Kanawha Valley Hustler, reminding you to hustle hard, hustle smart, and hustle with a smile.